in years and cities, and I'm visiting with Toby Keith. Now, during the break, you know, we were just discussing. No, 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 no. We, you know, we handed uh, Toby a little bottle of water here, which everybody has. And he started working on the label, and he told us the story, I guess, what happens in bars. Well, the line in the song is, she yeah, was peeing on the line. Right. Bottle, she was peeing on the label. label. All right, now, explain to the people what that means well, in bars. Is it okay to say it on this show? Well, it depends on what it is. I still don't get it. We're just, so, just, so, just softening it well, up. In the Oklahoma and Texas bars, if you get the, if she gets the label off all in one piece and brings it over and gives it to you. Now, she's obviously taking a lot of time to make right. sure that she doesn't know. If it tears, it tears, it don't count. Right. That means she wants to say, hello. There you right. go. That's a nice way of putting money. Set. You okay. can't say that on this show. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> That's true. I never, I don't know. I guess I don't hang around bars enough. We call it the wild thing. Okay. Uh, get the camera off me. Uh, now, wait a minute. Now, see, now, we can ask Toby things like this because uh, in getting to the point in country music where you are today, you did a lot of time, so to speak, uh, working in the bars, you know, the small clubs where they have beer fights and things like that. So what, what's the probably the most unusual thing that happened to you? Probably... Uh, the first gig when we finally quit our real job and said we're going to go take it on the road, me and the band left. You met the band. I met the band. <laughs> uh, we left Oklahoma City and had never been anywhere but Texas to play, and that was North Texas. We drove to uh, Pascagoula, Mississippi, and uh, Hurricane Elena, I think. Uh -huh. Is anybody familiar with it? Uh, I'm sure they are. Uh -huh. Blue Pascagoula away the night. We were driving down there, so when we got there, it was like an atom bomb. Oh, really? Had it hit this place. There was no street signs. There was no traffic lights, no highway signs, no trees. And everybody was boarded up, and we got there about 6.30 in the morning. That was our first road gig. Omen. <laughs> wow. That's well, Tell me a little bit about your band, Easy Money. is the name of the group. Is that right? Yeah, they've, uh, we started that band in high school, and... Uh, we were playing old Alabama records, and uh, well, they were new Alabama records, and we were so uh, into what Alabama was doing at the time that we just learned the whole album. We'd go in a club and play about 20 songs over and over, and we'd have a new Alabama come out. We'd it's time to rehearse again. <laughs> Does Alabama know about this? I don't know. I wonder. I wonder you know what would be fun sometime? It's for you to play them one of their songs that you do and see if they like it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, see, the bands did that. I mean, that's how they make a living. You know, they play the hit music in the small clubs and everything that all the big artists have hits with. So, uh, yeah, that's just a way of living. We're still doing it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. It's no problem. Uh, we won't tell. No, well, big day coming up for you, I hear, is it March 12th? That that's you're right. having a big Toby Keith day in your home You got your tree decorated? <laughs> My Toby Keith tree, sure. You can have a tree. I bought it yesterday. You gotta have a tree to decorate for Toby Keith. Is that, that where he crawls out of the hole and sees a shadow and all that? That's it. That's it. But it's happening in, in Moore, Oklahoma. Yeah, which is uh, actually I'm doing. I think that night I'm in concert at uh, Norman, which is about five miles from there, with Brooks and Dunn. So, and Aaron Tiffin, right down the road. So the the day that's the only day I'm in town for the month and. My little hometown got together. And, uh -oh. yeah. well, so what are they doing for Toby Keith? Well, actually, I, well, they've got a street there. It's one of the main streets through town. And now I can go, well, well you go down fourth here and you turn and ride on Toby Keith Boulevard. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. It doesn't seem you can give them directions. So. <laughs> That's nice. That's, that's not good. Uh, I like that. Do they give you the key to the city and treat you I'm guessing the there's a Charlie Chase Boulevard. Oh, yeah. Several of them. It's on Lower Broad down there. <laughs> I've seen movies for a quarter. Uh, no. <laughs> let that soak in too a minute here. That's right. They're a little slow. Well, one other thing I want to point out, in addition to all the fun things that are coming up for you personally, you're part of the, uh, you and the band, part of the uh, big Opryland concert series coming up. Nashville on stage. Yes. Are we? Yes. 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 How about that? Are we? I know I'm maybe putting you on the spot here, but how many concerts are you going to be doing this season at Opera Land? Do you know yet? The actual number? I know. Uh, three, I don't okay. sure. Of. So you've been making some appearances here. That's right. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah we're, that's just for the spring. I don't know about the summer and the fall. Okay. 
but I'm going to do about 300 shows this year, so you're really putting me on the spot. <laughs> That's right. Let's just say he's going to be a busy man. Now, you Pretty told hard. us one time that you've worked really hard, actually all your life, to be what they call a self-contained artist. Now, what does that mean for those folks out there who don't really know? Well, I didn't, I still don't live out here, and, and living in Oklahoma uh, and having to travel, I wanted to make sure that if I did get a break and get somebody to look at me, that they wouldn't have to get me prepared, you know, I wanted to have a, a good hot band, I wanted to have a bus, uh, you know, I wanted to have my own songs, I'm a writer, mm -hmm. and I write most of my stuff, and I just wanted it to be when they came in, and just went, well, this guy's ready just to stick right out on the road, you know, right. and that's the way it worked out, so, I mean, I had, I tried to get it all together before I went for a record deal. Well, you've that's done it. smart. You've done it, and uh, thanks for opening the show with us tonight, too. Oh, thank yeah, you. in fact, the album's called Toby Keith, and uh, later on, he's going to do the first number one single that he had. It's on this album, so that's coming up a little later. Right. In the meantime, we'll take a break. And no, 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 no. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. So what? You go stand in the corner. Go I the 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 corner. If they get the mirroring for my eyes. Speaking of number one records, <laughs> we go back to 73, and Charlie Rich had a big one called The Most Beautiful Girl. And here's Terry by Jeffrey.